Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This time we are going to look at captions and how to burn them in on export from Final Cut. Now a few people said this couldn't be done in forums but you can do it. You couldn't do it when Final Cut Pro 10 first came out with 10.4.1 with captions but if you look at the release notes for 10.4.4 and that was released on November the 15th Scroll down, I've actually highlighted to here, it says choose to burn in closed captions into your video to ensure they appear at all times during playback. Now, it's actually quite easy to do, but it's a bit hidden, so I'll show you exactly what you need to do to get those burnt in captions onto a QuickTime movie. Let me just first say thank you to everybody who bought tracking callouts. Our new plugin's gone down really well, sold a lot of copies, lots of great feedback. So thank you very much for that. But let's get on with the tutorial. Here you can see on my Final Cut Pro 10 timeline, I've got three clips and three very simple captions on there. It doesn't really matter what format, but you can see there the iTunes format in the index on the left hand side. Now, let me export this. You can see the captions on there, and if we just have a look at the roles, I'm not touching anything in the, in the roles tab. And hit next, save. Hopefully this should be quite quick because it's only three shots. A lot of people expect the captions to be actually burnt in, but they're not by default. Right, so we can actually change that very easily. Let's do another export. Let's call this captions test two. So I'm going to go into the roles tab and click on this little icon here called captions. And in that it says burning captions. Bit hard to find, but once you know it's there, you'll be fine and just select it. It's OK. And next, save. Again, it, hopefully it should be quite quick because only three shots. And there we have our three shots with the burnt in captions on there. Very easy to do. However, although those captions are okay, you might want to customize them. And you can't really do that from within Final Cut Pro 10. There are limited, let's close these, there are limited formats that you can put them in. And actually, uh, the iTunes is quite restricted. If you go into the others, they, there's a bit more about the display, colour, etc. But there are a couple of apps, third party apps that you can use, which will help. The first one is X Title Caption Convert from Spherico. And what that does, it converts all the captions into motion template titles that go back on top of your edit, absolutely perfectly timed, and you can adjust those one at a time or all at a time. And the author just requires a little donation, which always helps. Or if you want even more control over your captions, burnt in that is, of course, then you can use Caption Burner from FX Factory, and that's $129 at the moment. But you can do things like make individual words, colors, uh, bigger, smaller, etc. So there you go, that's a quick way of showing you how to get the captions burnt in onto an export in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, if you like the tutorial, please like and subscribe. It does help and we'll see you on the next one very soon. Bye bye.